many of the opinion say yes. The bill which was passed by the Nairobi County Assembly on Tuesday last week is aimed at enabling the county representatives to prioritize projects in each of the 85 wards in Nairobi County. A total of 1.4 billion shillings will be rolled out to the 85 wards with each ward set to receive 17 million shillings. Development funds have been uh, put as a block and sometimes the wards uh, have not gotten equitable distribution in terms of development. And this particular act will ensure this equitable distribution. The act may, however, not be implemented with budget controller Agnes Odhiambo categorically stating that she shall not approve funds to be spent under the World Development Fund as the very existence of the fund is a contravention of the law. The controller of budget argues that the Public Finance Management Act only provides for the county executive officer in charge of finance to set up any such fund and not the members of the county assembly. The controller of budget maintains that the role of the county assembly is legislative and to provide oversight on the utilization of funds by county government and members of the assembly should therefore not be allowed to spend funds. The County Ward Development Act creates two bodies to oversee the implementation of the fund. The first is the County Management Committee, which shall comprise members of the county executive in charge of finance and the chief officer in charge of public works, as well as the clerk of the county assembly. The committee shall approve the spending of the fund by the Ward Development Fund Committee, whose members shall be appointed by the member of county assembly. This provision in the constitution of the two body may, however, enable the fund to exist and operate as the chief executive in charge of finance will be a member of the overall administration body, that is the county management committee. The act also provides for hefty penalties for those found to have misappropriated funds allocated to the World Development Fund, including a five-year jail term. 15% of the allocation to each ward shall be set aside for education with a 3% cap on the amount of money allowed for administrative costs. Out-of-pocket expenses and refunds are also capped at 3% to avoid misuse of the fund by its administrators. Henry Gedaiga, Monday Special.